Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, Flip Nerd fans. This is Dave Pellegrinelli from AFX and TitleSearch.com hosting this recent edition of the REI Classroom. Right after this break, we'll get right into our first topic. This REI Classroom real estate lesson is sponsored by UglyOpportunities.com. Hey, Pellegrinelli at REI Classroom. We're going to talk about moneyballing your REI deals and analyzing your deal pipeline. If you're working on real estate investment deals, a very common pursuit is to work on one deal at a time. What we've seen is successful investors have a deal pipeline where they have multiple deals in the pipeline at any given time. We'd like to see five to ten, maybe even a dozen deals in your pipeline for many reasons. The most important thing is to not attach yourself to any one particular deal. If you have multiple deals in your pipeline, you won't become emotionally attached or too focused and obsessing over one particular deal that you have to do. If you're only working on one deal or looking at one property, what you're going to find is that attachment might force you into making a bad decision on one deal when there may be other deals to compare with. Look, if you have five or 10 or 12 deals in your pipeline, you can compare between those deals as you're working them through the process. You may find one deal falls out of that pipeline because maybe the price is too high. You may find one deal that you eliminate from that pipeline because you discover that there's liens on the property that you can't mitigate. You may find one deal that the um, physical condition of the property has issues with it. Maybe there's a foundation issue or the AC or the mechanicals have some problem. If you're only working on one deal, you might mentally kind of gloss over that and say, well, it's not that bad and, and still force yourself to do that deal because that's the only one you're working on. So having multiple deals will keep you from forcing yourself into a bad deal. Plus, it gives you an opportunity to compare deals within your own pipeline because you'll intimately know the details on those five or ten different properties. And you can say, well, this one's got a better potential you know, retail uh, upside than the other one or this one has a better chance of getting your financing or this one has a better chance of uh, having less obstacles to getting the deal done. The other advantage of having multiple deals in your pipeline is after six or eight months of working on deals, you might have a hundred potential properties that you've looked at that you can analyze on a spreadsheet to see which ones became better prospects, which ones became higher margin potential. And that way you can use those examples to model to find the next batch of deals on month nine or ten. You can also back test your non-purchased property. So if you have a hundred deals you've analyzed in six or eight months, maybe you've done two or three deals, the other 98, you can back test those to see what would have happened if you bought those deals. What did those properties sell for? What problems came up on the for the buyers that did get the deals? Did they have to put in a new chimney? Did they have liens at the payoff? Think about that movie Moneyball where they took the baseball industry and use analysis on every little detail of a baseball player to see if the player or the team could improve their results by looking at little details, little data points you can use on your deals. How much time does it take to make the deal? What seller activity do you see? What answers do you get from the seller on questions? Where's the location? You know, what is the prior lender on the property, any little detail you may not think is important, even the color of the house might be important at some point. So once you have multiple properties in your history of a spreadsheet, you can back test those and see what analysis can give you as intel for your future deals. That's a way to analyze your deal pipeline, moneyball your deals, make them so that each deal, even if you don't conclude it, becomes a valuable resource for making future decisions. Thanks again for visiting. This is Dave at REI Classroom. Look again for another great episode coming up soon. Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses folks, is a franchise system of hundreds of real estate investors that have purchased over 65,000 houses. 
If you'd like to learn more about the most powerful real estate investing system in existence, whether you're a pro looking to take your business to the next level, or whether you have no experience at all but a burning passion to be successful in real estate investing, please visit flipnerd.com slash ugly to learn more. Please note the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of flipnerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of flipnerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at flipnerd.com. Please check out the Flipnerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at flipnerd.com slash shows or simply search for Flipnerd in the iTunes store.